I am Katie Farrell with Dashing Dish, and at Dashing Dish, I'm all about teaching you how to create healthy alternatives to the food you crave. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a healthy game day eat. So if for game day, I think most people think of buffalo, chicken, um, you know, you think of nachos, you think of chili, all sorts of, you know, quick and easy bites to serve a crowd. So instead of nachos, the traditional chip, the tortilla chip with, you know, the grease and everything like that, I'm going to teach you how to make um, nachos using bell peppers as the base. So the great thing about this is you're taking all of the fried chip out and, and also just the white carbs and you're replacing it with a veggie. So it might seem like, you know, it's a little bit complicated because then you have to, you know, cut your bell peppers. I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to cut a bell pepper and prepare it for the nachos. So all you do is you take a sharp paring knife like I have here and you cut around the top of the bell pepper, always cutting away from yourself, of course, cutting away from your fingers so you, you know, don't um, catch them. And then once you have it completely cut around the top, you just kind of pull that out and then you have all the seeds there. So that way you don't have any mess, you don't have any cleanup after. And then we're gonna toss that and we're gonna just cut this into strips, so very thick strips. And an easier way to even do this is to um, buy the little mini bell peppers. So they have the little um, mini ones and you just cut those straight in half. So that, that's an even um, easier way to do it. And then we just put these on a baking sheet pan and that I lined with foil and sprayed with cooking spray. And again, that just makes for easy cleanup. So we have our bell peppers set here and now we're gonna make the filling. So for the filling, we have ground turkey in a pan and you could use lean ground beef or ground chicken, whatever you like. And I just put this over medium high and I'm just stirring it a little bit to cook it as, or break it up as it cooks. Just like you would any ground meat. And this is a really simple recipe. I love to make this for family or friends, not just for game day, but just as a quick appetizer or snack, or even if we're doing like a taco night, this is a fun uh, dish to serve and really easy, like I said. Just a few basic ingredients. And you know, not that there's anything wrong with eating nachos. You know, I would definitely say that in moderation, everything is fine. And that's really what I teach at Dashing Dish is that it doesn't mean that you can't have your favorite foods like pizza or nachos ever again. It just means, you know, making healthier versions. So you don't have to feel deprived, you know? You don't have to feel like healthy eating is boring or bland. You can really make anything that you enjoy just in a healthier way. And it's just by simple swap outs, like swapping out your tortilla chips with bell peppers. So here you can see that the meat is almost completely brown. And that's what you're looking for. You know that chicken and turkey is completely cooked through when it's no longer pink. You want it to be completely brown. And so once this is almost completely brown, I'm gonna add half of the salsa that this recipe calls for, which it calls for one cup total. So I'm gonna add a half cup right now to the pan. So just kind of eyeball it there. And that just helps complete um, the cooking process of the turkey so it doesn't get dried out. And that's important because sometimes with a lean um, ground beef or a lean turkey, any kind of lean cut of meat, sometimes it gets a little bit dried out as you cook it. So when you add moisture back to the pan, such as using salsa, you're really preventing that uh, meat from tasting dry. So we added the salsa and you can see how nicely that's cooking up now. And then I'm gonna add kind of my own variation of a healthy, clean eating taco seasoning. And really clean eating, all that means is it's not processed, it's not man-made, there's no chemicals added to it. And a lot of taco seasonings actually have a lot of added chemicals. And so instead, it's really simple to just make your own. I just take cumin, chili powder, and garlic powder and just add those to the recipe. I do one teaspoon of cumin one teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of garlic powder, and then just a little, um, you know, salt and pepper. I, I'm gonna do a half teaspoon of each. You could draw back depending on your personal preference or taste for the salt and pepper. And that is as simple as it is to make your own taco seasoning. It's 
just a few spices here. And I have these on hand all the time. So that way any kind of, you know, Mexican inspired dish I'm making is, you know, I just have the sauce or the spices right there. So I'm gonna finish cooking this up. And you can see it's just about done here. And look how good that looks. Nice and brown. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn off the heat here and add the rest of my salsa. So we're gonna add the rest of the salsa at the end just so that it really adds that flavor and that moisture back to the meat. Because you can see the, the first half cup that we added kind of cooked off with the turkey. And so look how good that looks. It's almost like you could just eat that right out of the pan. And technically you could, but we're gonna make nachos out of it. So we have our bell peppers here and we have our meat mixture and that's all that is required of this recipe. And then if you wanna do a little bit of cheese on top because I think all nachos should have some cheese, then you can put some cheese, you could put some black olives, whatever you like on your nachos. Any kind of nacho topping, you can add straight to these. So I'm gonna just fill these bell peppers and you can see how simple that is. You just kind of scoop it on there. You could even use a measuring cup if you like to be precise in the amount, but basically you just wanna evenly divide it. And you know, I think when we think of game day food, we think of everything that is just simple to eat, you know, without a fork, without a spoon, you can just pick it up and eat it. And so these are really great because you can literally just take them off of a tray and pop them in your mouth. Just like that. And of course you can use up all of this filling. Um, you know, when I make these with the small bell peppers, I usually do about 40 small bell peppers, but here we just have three large bell peppers. So we're just gonna kind of fill these the rest of the way. But just for, you know, this cooking demo purposes, we're just gonna stop there and show you how to just top them with cheese and I'll show you the finished product when we're done. So you just bake these. It only takes about 10 to 12 minutes to bake these. So again, very simple to make. And this is something that, you know, my husband and all of his friends enjoy, which, I mean, that is, that usually says a lot when my husband and his friends enjoy it because, you know, it's a bunch of guys. So it's hard sometimes to pass with a bunch of guys. But you just pop these in the oven and you can see that this is the finished product. Absolutely delicious. You could top them with cilantro, um, any kind of topping you like with nachos. And they're absolutely delicious. So I hope you try these on your next game day or any type of gathering you have. If you like this recipe or more just like it, you can head over to ctvn.org.